and welcome to my morning routine with a one-year-old. Our mornings usually start somewhere in between 7 and 7.30 whenever Rowan decides to wake up and Matt always goes and gets him from his room and brings him into our room and this is my favorite part of the morning because he puts him down on the bed and he crawls over to me and wakes me up or pretends to wake me up because I'm usually already awake with a kiss or a hug or snuggles or sometimes just patting me on the back and saying mama and it's the sweetest way to wake up every morning. Then I'll ask him if he's hungry, and of course he always says yes, so I nurse him. We're still nursing in the morning and at night for now, although we do plan to wean fairly soon because he is starting to kind of lose interest in it. But for now, I'm soaking up all the sweet cuddles. I love this time with him in the morning. It's a great way to just kind of like get my morning started on a relaxing note and get to wake up gently. Then the three of us will all hang out in our bed for a little bit, usually about 10 or 15 minutes, and just play with Rowan. He'll bounce in between the two of us, and whoever's not currently entertaining him will try to get a little bit of extra rest. It's nice that he wakes up before Matt goes to work because we do have some time as a family all together before Dada has to start working on the computer and it's more of me and Rowan for the afternoon. I also usually check my phone in the morning. I know I probably shouldn't, but I like to monitor if I have any like urgent emails that have come through. And at some point, Rowan gets bored of the bed and will kind of back down off of it and explore our room a little bit. So we've had to baby proof in here pretty well, but he likes to just pull books off the shelves and play with Matt's Apple Watch. Then Matt will take him into his nursery to do his first diaper change of the day and brush his teeth. We used to change his diaper before he would nurse in the morning, but now he will not let us, you know, squirmy toddlers and he needs to eat before he gets his diaper changed or he gets very upset. As you can see now, he's in a pretty good mood after having some mama dad at time, so it's a lot easier to get those things done for him. And while the boys are doing that, I take the opportunity to get myself ready for the day. So I'll cleanse my face, I use a moisturizer and eye cream, and I always use SPF now. This is a fairly recent addition for me, but it's really helping. And then I do all the normal people stuff like brush my hair and put on deodorant and brush my teeth before we go downstairs to eat breakfast. When we're ready, I put my slippers on, I grab my Apple Watch, my phone, and my water bottle, and I take Rowan and we head downstairs. We always turn the fireplace on in the morning, pretty much first thing because it's just so cozy in the colder months. And Rowan and I like to snuggle up on the couch for a few minutes and I just kind of check in with him and have a little cuddle and ask him how his sleep was and hang out for a little bit because he just nursed so he doesn't need breakfast quite yet. And I like to have a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with him before we go and do that in the kitchen. When he does get hungry, he usually will tell me that he wants breakfast, and I caught it on camera, so I'll insert that here. Mama. What, you want breakfast? Mama. Okay. And he'll play in the living room while I make his breakfast usually. Sometimes he wants to be picked up, so I'll get part of the way through preparing it. I'll get the stuff out of the fridge, and then he'll come up to my legs and ask to be picked up, and I'll just do the rest of breakfast while I'm holding him. He loves to be a part of the process and wants to push all of the buttons and the levers and all of that good stuff, which is really cute. This morning we went for a pretty easy breakfast. I made toast for both of us. For myself, I did avocado toast with lemon and everything with the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. And for Rowan, I did peanut butter toast because he doesn't like avocado toast all that much. And I also had a side of raspberries for both of us. Gotta get some fruit in the boy. I'm still cutting his toast up with food scissors just because I feel like it's easier for him to eat. And of course, I also got him some water in his little silicone straw cup. Matt got him all put down in the high chair and got his bib on and said a little prayer with him. As you can see, he was already eating before Matt was even done doing that. This kid loves food and loves to eat, so he always really enjoys his breakfast. We usually do at least part of it eating together. Often I have to make my breakfast while he's eating his, but since we were doing pretty much the same thing this morning, we got to enjoy it together and hang out while Matt made coffee. I swear Matt makes better coffee than me. Like we do it the exact same way, same amount of ground, same amount of water, but for whatever reason, his comes out so much better. 
I always make sure to fill up my water bottle so I can stay hydrated. I used to be really bad at this, but I've definitely gotten a lot better. <laughs> and I try to make sure I drink some of that before I drink my coffee. These days I've been loving putting just a little bit of half and half and some pumpkin pie spice in my coffee. I love it because it's not sweet at all, but I still get that nice seasonal flavor. As you can see, Rowan's still chowing down. And at this point, it's usually about eight o'clock and Matt has to start work. If you didn't know, Matt's a property manager and he is still working from home. So he's around us, but obviously during the work day, he's answering emails and phone calls and his priority has to be work. And so because I have a more flexible job, it's usually mostly just me and Rowan for the afternoon. Although Matt was able to help us clean him up this morning. When he was all cleaned up, I took him upstairs and chose his outfit for the day. The wrestling match of trying to change a toddler began. If you have one, you know what I mean. Getting them dressed is nearly impossible, especially with this outfit because it had 11 snaps, which was so hard, but it's so cute. I just couldn't resist. This is about the best that I could get him to pose for a little video clip of his outfit. His outfit is from Riley and Crew and his sweater is from Zara. Then I got dressed myself, even if I'm not putting makeup on, which I usually don't these days, I always make sure I get dressed for the day because it just helps me feel so much more put together. And if I don't get dressed, I often feel kind of sloppy and I don't know, I feel like I'm just not as productive during those days. So today I put on a little turtleneck and these nice big comfy overalls. They're very easy to run around in and I don't know, they're just very autumnal. And I'm still hanging out with Rowan, so I usually do a little bit of work on my phone if he's playing independently. Today I had a video go live, so I put it on Instagram and made sure everybody knew that it was up in case they wanted to watch it. And then we basically just have playtime until Rowan's nap. I like to try to be really intentional about putting my phone away after I get whatever urgent work tasks I need to get done finished so that I can just hang out with him. No screens, I just read to him and we play with his love every toys and just hang out and it's really, really nice. He usually gets a little bit more fussy towards the end of his wake window so he needs that attention and I'm happy to give it to him because he's my tiny best friend and I do love playing with him. He's also recently started doing this thing where he likes to just lead us around the house. Nowhere in particular, he just wants to drag us around and it's so cute. Then when he goes down for his nap, I will head into my office and the first thing I do is check my planner. So I check off any tasks that I finished the day before. I make sure I know what I've got coming up on my calendar and I adjust my weekly priorities for my general level of productivity that week. It always really helps me to just stay organized and stay on top of all the different work tasks I have. And then I open up my laptop for the first time, usually around 10 or 10.30, and start answering all of my emails. And that's pretty much it for my morning routine with a one-year-old. I haven't been digging wearing makeup recently, so this is pretty much as ready as I've been getting for the day. I usually start work after Rowan goes down for his first nap, and that's pretty much our routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love you guys a lot, and I can't wait to hang out with you again super soon. Bye.